welcome back to auto content on ndtv i know you guys have waited patiently for this content on the channel and finally we are back and i suggest you fasten your seat belt because we will be bringing a lot of interesting content for you and what i have today is also a path breaker in its own right The success of CNG vehicles has taken the auto world by surprise. But what Tata Motors have done is definitely a leg up and that's because they have given not just the CNG but also an automatic. Today we are going to drive this and tell you how does this AMT perform? Does this give you the jerks that are so annoying in AMTs? But first let me give you the basic facts about this Tiago CNG AMT. Tata Motors is offering AMT with CNG in Tiago, Tigor Compact Sedan and Tiago NRG. The CNG Tiago gets 1.2 liter 3 cylinder Revtron engine which produces 73.4 HP in CNG mode and 86 HP in petrol mode. In the CNG mode, torque produced is a tad bit lower too at 95 Nm while in petrol it stands at 113 Nm. It has a fuel capacity of 35 liters for petrol and 60 liter water volume for CNG. The car looks identical to its petrol counterpart and you won't be able to notice any difference between the two and to be honest Tiago is a smart looking small hatchback. The only difference is the ICNG badge at the back and the wheels. These are not alloys but have been stylized to look like one. Though the big change compared to petrol is obviously in the boot where the CNG cylinders sit. Tata Motors twin cylinder technology that they have innovated and brought in their cars has made sure that you get a decent amount of boot space otherwise in a small car like this getting a boot space with that big cylinder becomes really difficult now one thing i want to point out that you need to use your key to open the boot there's a lever up front which you can use otherwise you have to use the key now you can see there's a decent amount of space you can keep one small bag and maybe a duffel bag after that but the company recommends that you don't put anything any luggage on this area in order to access the two cylinders you have to open this flap but this flap doesn't open unless and until you fold the second one a little bit okay Now you can see the two cylinders and now you're wondering where's the spare wheel well the spare wheel is under the car and there's a bolt here that you need to unbolt if you want to take the spare wheel out Let's take a look at the interiors What also works for Tigor and Tiago ICNG is the fact that you get the option of CNG in top variants So you don't have to compromise on features as well. You get a Harman touchscreen, 7-inch touchscreen, automatic AC. You get connectivity option. You get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. There is a USB Type charger here, C Type charger, and a 12-volt charger as well. The features list is rather long. Let's look at it. Tiago CNG gets features at par with its petrol counterpart. The only significant feature missing in CNG AMT is cruise control. Safety features list comprises of two airbags, ABS with EBD, corner stability control, leak detection where the car switches to petrol mode on detecting any leakage, a fire extinguisher under the co-driver seat and a micro switch to keep the car off at the time of refueling. Second row passengers get the same amount of space as in standard Tiago. Now let's see how it drives. Finally it's time for me to tell you how does this car drive but before that I want to focus on couple of things that are really interesting first of all I really like the driver display the backlit fuel gauge and the RPM meter looks quite neat there is a reverse camera here with guiding lines parking reversing gets really convenient because of that However on a sunny day like today looking at the screen is a bit of an issue because there's a lot of glare that I can spot. 
Now on to how the AMT performs. Well, when you're on the slower speeds, when the car is picking up from first to second gear, you do feel the gear shift. It is soft, it is not inconvenient and it is not the head nod that you will get, but you will get to feel the first to second and second to third. But once you pick up speed, you will barely feel those gear shifts. There is the infamous judder, especially when you slow down suddenly from high speed. The gear downshift is not as prompt as it should be. One interesting fact about Tiago ICNG is that it does start on CNG itself. So it's not that it will start on petrol and then go on CNG. It starts on CNG, stays on CNG. And with a push of a button, you can switch between petrol and CNG, which is seamless and you do not feel any substantial difference between the two modes. The company has told us that they have retuned the suspension of Tiago and you can feel that. The good thing is that it absorbs the big potholes and the speed breakers pretty well. It is the minor undulation on the road that are noticeable inside, especially at high speed. Tata Tiago ICNG AMT's prices start from Rs 7.9 lakhs and go up to Rs 8.8 .8 lakhs ex showroom, which is roughly 50,000 more than the similar manual CNG variant. For an AMT, gear changes are smooth. However, the transmission is not perfect as highlighted earlier. But the combination of automatic and CNG offers convenience and savings on fuel cost. Mm -hmm.